Hey, YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing great. I really sincerely do. You know, when I started YouTube, I thought, how do you start a video? What is it that you should say? And I remember I came up with uh, these little uh, animals that came with my webcam software. And I decided to use them. I had that fear of getting on camera. And then I, I started saying, hello, friends and family. I think I started out YouTube friends and family. And the reason I do that is because everybody I see as friends. But more importantly, I see all of you as family. Because in my heart, I really believe that we are all family. I sincerely do. And as it is with all families, we share. We share information. We share recipes, ideas, crafts, workmanship. All the things that we do in life that make us who we are. Many of us today have to share things that are not so comfortable. News bits or happenings in the world that can cause concern. I don't think any of us want to invoke or, or create fear. But it has been said that knowledge is power. And I really believe that knowledge is power. If we don't have the information, then we have no power over any circumstances or any things that happen. We have to know what it is. It's kind of like catching alligators. In order to do that, you would have to have some knowledge of what an alligator does or how they react before you try to tackle one. Today, Maka Electric put out a video of a documentary. IG plus it. Google plus it. Even though it is a two hour and 29 minute video. That's a long time. I mean, most good movies don't last two hours and 29 minutes. But this was well worth the time. It certainly was. And the reason that it is, is because all the things that we see happening today, it's hard for us to grasp it. Common people, people with good hearts, good minds, have a hard time even fathoming that evil could be so arrogant and so in our faces that somebody could actually cause horrible things to happen to other people, especially large numbers of people. The video that he shows, this documentary, is troubling, and it's something that will build concern, and yet it will take you to a place where all of a sudden the pieces fit. The puzzle comes together. It makes sense. I don't know about all of you. Even though I am known to be an analytical person and to be a person that is uh, a person that pays a lot of attention, it's been real hard for me to grasp all these different things that are happening. And it's been this way for years. Goes clear back. Clear back to me looking at my father as a young girl. 
and saying, Why? Why are we in Vietnam? Why? Why is this happening? And not really getting an accurate answer. Because quite frankly, my father didn't know why. Well, there's been many events that we do not have the why. They all gather up. It's like stacking all this stuff together. We've got a pile of things, but we don't have the why to the, the answer to why. We don't have the information that we need collectively so that we can work together for a solution. In order to have a solution, we have to have the why. Why is this happening? What caused this? How did it begin? Where did this come from? It's kind of like that story of the Wizard of Oz. And I've heard other people refer to it. You know, Dorothy gets out there with her basket after this terrible storm. This tornado. And she's skipping along the yellow brick path. And the path goes on and on. And along the way, she gathers information along with new friends. And then when she gets to Oz, none of it's real. Everything that she's been told is not real. Now think about that. I highly recommend that everybody go and watch this video that Maca Electric put out. Yes, it's long. Two hours and 29 minutes long. But if you're at all concerned about why we're in the mess we're in today and where this could be going, how we got here, I sincerely hope you watch that video. I really do. You know... It can be very unnerving. I've heard some people re relay to me their uh, sense of hopelessness, that they feel overwhelmed. They expect the worst. They just think this is it. There's nothing we can do. It's a lost cause. We're going down. We're going to die. But you know, friends and family, if we could just evolve past the one key that gives them strength over us, that gives them control over us, something I have said from my very first video and all the videos to follow, we have to be able to work together to help one another to understand that we are all the same and we're all in the same mess together. We have to get past this division that they keep us in where we look at one another as being less than, not worthy of. Oh, look at those people. They're so poor. Look at those guys. They're so rich. Oh, I don't like those people. They're they're not white. I don't like those people. They're not black. I don't like them. They're Japanese. I don't like them. They're Chinese. I don't like them. They're Afghanistan. I don't like them. They're from Iran. I don't like him. He's from Germany. I don't... They keep us divided. We have got to get past that. If we're going to survive and change what's been happening, we can get our power back. We can take control. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We have powers we do not use. We certainly do. 
It's not fighting, but it definitely is standing up together. It certainly is. If you don't want to spend the two hours and 29 minutes to watch that video, I can't say I blame you. Try to skim through it. There's going to be a lot of information, according to someone that I just spoke to, that they've already seen, or maybe you've already seen in bits and pieces, but when you put it together, you get the whole pie. It comes together, and it makes more sense. You know, picking up a piece here and picking up a piece here, and, and a little later picking up another piece, picking up another piece, out of sight, out of mind. Our minds put stuff away, or maybe we forget. Watching this, as I say, it, it brings it all together. But more importantly, at the end of the video, and I'm going to read this. I hope I don't get in trouble for reading it. I don't know who wrote it, unless it's all the people that put the documentary together. I have no clue who wrote it. I didn't see an author. But it's so valuable that I really think I need to read it. And when you watch the video, go to the end of the video and read it yourself again. This is something that we really all need to see, meaning the video, and read meaning the end of the video. I quote whoever wrote it. It may seem like the odds are stacked against us, but this is mere illusion. Great efforts have been made to suppress us and to stifle our true power and potential in order to control us. We've been conditioned into a state of perpetual apathy, distraction, fear, and ignorance. We've been dumbed down, brainwashed, and misled. There has been an ongoing assault on our perception of reality, on our boundaries of possibility, and on our collective sense of self. Most importantly, though, we have been divided. The oppression of the many by the few has only been possible because we've been manipulated into fighting among each other over trivial differences such as race, gender, age, and religion to divert us from the fact that we're all in the same boat. A boat which is rapidly sinking and will continue to at an ever-increasing rate until we abandon our petty differences and preconceptions of each other. Realize that we all have the same enemy. We all have the same enemy and start working together to take back responsibility and control of our own lives. Realize that the climate of paranoia and fear perpetuate, perpetuated by the mainstream media, which turns us against each other, paints every single person in a p potential criminal 
paints every single person a potential criminal, pedophilia, terrorist, and makes us too scared to leave our own homes is illusion, illusory and serves only one purpose, to terrify us into docility and division. A nation of terrified and divided citizens is a manipulator's wet dream. Stop giving your mind away to the mainstream media. Stop giving your responsibility away to government. Unfortunately, at the highest levels, both of these institutions, as well as most other major institutions, such as banking and mainstream education, are overrun by corruption and deception and are a large part of the reason we're in this mess in the first place. Fortunately, millions are now beginning to wake up. We need to start coming together and doing everything in our power as a collective to raise awareness on these issues the methods and structure of the manipulation can only be effective when the majority of people are kept in ignorance of them. Change that and the entire system of deception and control will collapse. We can all do something. Make leaflets websites, YouTube videos, write articles, form or join activist organizations, arrange public documentary viewings, give lectures, or even just go out of your way to talk about these issues to friends, family, and complete strangers. At first, many will not want to listen. Don't we know that? But as things get worse and the methods of control become increasingly more blatant and desperate, it will prove harder to ignore what is happening any longer. And denial will cease to be an option. This system that seeks to enslave us is held together by the co cooperation of ordinary people. Now think about that. This system that seeks to enslave us is held together by the cooperation of ordinary people. As soon as we refuse to cooperate with our own enslavement in a large-scale, nonviolent way, it will collapse like a house of cards. It is essential that we come together as one and stop allowing the few to dictate the lives of the many. Individually, we can be picked off one by one, but in mass, we are extremely powerful, and our manipulators know that. You know, friends, I can't tell you how much this, or how real this is. It actually is. And the... I end, I end quote, by the way. If we could just understand that it is through the division, the hand-me-down BS, the garbage that we've been fed for breakfast, 
even by our own loved ones, our ancestors, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, our parents, if they were racist, if they led us to believe that we're any better or any less than another group of people, then they lied to us, whether they knew it or not. We have got to evolve past that in order to change our own circumstances. I love each and every one of you, but friends, very few people will even listen to this video because it's gone 20 minutes already. Hard to believe, but it has. And I know I need to hurry and get off of here. Very few people watch all the way through on any of my videos. But sometimes the message is so important, and I know it is, just like your messages are. We have got to come together and get it together. We really do. Each and every one of us. And again to you trolls, you're in this mess too. So troll all you want for that buck. But when it comes down, when things fall apart, you're going down too. So ask yourself if it's really worth it. We need to come together. Please take time to go watch that video. I'll put the link down below. It's worth the two and a half hours. I love you all. Great big hugs. Come together. Don't let them divide us anymore. That is what's given them power. The Million Mask March should have been two million. And we should have all showed up. It's going to come to that. Nonviolent. No violence. We just need to stand up. You guys take care. Be safe. Prepare for the unexpected. Much love. And do try to watch the video. Maka, thank you.